What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to look at logging out for our app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at logging out. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books. For one time fee, just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, so it's been a couple of weeks since we've had a video, but I'm back now, and in this video, we're going to look at logging out. So in the last video, we set up this login thing where we can log in. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about logging out. So if I just log in like this, you can see it redirects to the home page here, but it still says log in up there. So that's no good. We need to change that. And then we also need to change it to be able to log out. So that's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django series. So, okay, first things first, let's head over to our events, templates, nav bar. And here, we come down here, we see this login link. And this is what we looked at in the last video. Well, we need to be able to know whether or not a person has been logged in. And if they're logged in, we, we don't want this link to show up. We want it to say log out or something else. So how do we determine whether a user is logged in or logged out or not? Well, actually, it's very easy. Django comes with a bunch of authentication stuff we talked about in the last video. And this is one of those things that's going to sort of take care of that for us. All we need is a basic if statement. So let's go if user dot is underscore authentic that's it user dot is authenticated and looks like I did spell that right so if the user is authenticated and let me just sort of pop that over then we want to do something else we want to do this and then we want to end our if so anytime we have an if statement we need to end the if so uh, if you if the user is logged in, we want to do something. If they're not logged in, we want to give them this login link, right? So very simple. What's the thing here we want to do? What's the something we want to do? Well, I'm just going to grab this guy and I'm going to paste it in. And instead of this saying log in, I'm going to have this say log out. Now we haven't created this URL yet, so I'm just going to leave it as login just to change this one little word here to see if it works in the nav bar. So let's head back over here and hit reload. And we do now it says log out. Now, if we click on this, it goes back to the login screen, but at least now it changes because we're logged in. Now we can test this. We can go to the admin page and we can log out there. Then if we go back, the link changes back to log in because we haven't logged in yet. And to log back in, we can do that. Admin, put our password. And when we do, boom, it says log out up there. So very quick, very easy way to do that. Now, the only thing we need to do now is make this actually log us out when we click on it. And that is pretty easy, but there's a couple of moving parts here. So let's head over to our members section and our views.py file. And in the last video, we imported all this authentication stuff, all this Django authentication. And one of the things we imported was log out. We also did log in and authenticate. We did log in in the last video. And this authenticate probably takes care of the is authenticated stuff. But this log out is what we want to do now. So we need to come down here and create a view. And I'm going to define this and let's just call this logout underscore user. You can name this anything you want. We want to pass in our request. Now I called it logout user because that's what we're going to be doing here. We're logging out the user. Well, you could just call it logout, I guess, if you wanted or anything you want. It doesn't really matter. And now all we need to do is call that logout and pass in the request. Now this logout function is coming straight from this thing right here that we imported, right? So a piece of cake there. Now we want to do a little more than this. We want to redirect it to somewhere. We want to maybe flash up a little message. We can come up here in the last video. We added this message, right? I'm just going to copy this. And this message is comes from this thing right here, django.contrib messages. So we can flash up a little message here. So let's just paste that in. And for the message, I don't know, maybe something like uh, you were we're logged out, something like that. Okay. Now, finally, we want to redirect somewhere. So let's return, redirect, and let's just point this to the home page. Now we can point this to the home page because in our events app, urls.py file right here, we have this home link. So we can reference that, right? 
So, okay, that looks good. That's really all there is to this. Now we need one more thing. Anytime you do anything with Django, it's always a three-step process. You need a view, you need a template file, and you need a URL. Now the template file we're gonna use here is the home, so we don't have to recreate that, but we do need a URL. So let's go to our urls.py file in our members directory. We wanna keep all these things that are member related, logging in, logging out, authenticating, all that stuff. We wanna keep all those things in the members app that we created in the last video. So. Let's just come down here and create a new path. And you could call this anything you want, but I'm gonna call it logout underscore user because that makes sense. We want this to point to views.logout underscore user. And let's give this a name of like logout, something like that. So this views.logout user is obviously this views.logout user function that we just created. So, okay, that looks, Pretty good, and that's really all there is to it. This is really easy. This is like the easiest thing to do with all of authentication logging out. So we can go ahead and save this. Now we name this logout. So we're gonna reference this in the navbar link. So here we have this saying logout. We want the URL to be logout, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Come back over here, give this a test, hit reload. It says logout, boom. It redirects us back to the home page. It says you were logged out and we're good to go. Now up here, again, it says log in. We can log back in again. Boom, it redirects us to the home page. We're at log out now. We could go anywhere else in the app, right? If we then log out, boom, it redirects us back to the home page, says, hey, you were logged out, and uh, we're good to go. So that's all there is to it. Very simple, very easy to log out with Django using the Django authentication system. And that's really all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to that channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.